Zeke Smda was born in 1948 in Hashels. His mother's name was Rose and his father's name was Ashby. His father was first a school teacher, then a lawyer, and later the founder and president of the African National Congress Youth League. When his father was being exiled to neighboring Lesotho in the early 1960s because he was fighting against apartheid in South Africa, like many teenage boys, he preferred to live with his dad, even if it meant leaving his mom, friends, and his comfortable life. Zakes even had to learn a new language. Zakes began writing short stories when he was in high school. When he was 17 years old, he became interested in politics and he joined the Pan-Africanist Congress. He did not stay with this organization long. Zakes did not agree with some of the things the group did and wanted him to do. In 1988, he was appointed to contribute to the Weekly Mail, now Mail and Guardian, on a freelance basis. In 1996, he wrote several articles on mass communication and culture in the new nation, the Sunday Independent, City Press, Sunday Times, The Star. For three years, from 1997 to 2000, he was a regular guest writer for Mail and Guardian. His plays have been awarded numerous prizes. Zeke Simdar's plays have been translated into South Africa's 11 official languages. Simdar's novels reflect the collective internal conflict of tradition and materialist consumerism prevalent in post-apartheid South Africa. They are told from a black perspective. Whites only play a peripheral role. The much acclaimed novel, Ways of Dying, released in 1995, depicts Doloki, a self-proclaimed mourner wandering from one township funeral to the next. Slowly, the reader learns that almost all the victims in ways of dying were inflicted by their own fanatic, greedy, and violent communities. Heart of Redness, published in 2000, looks at the colonial past. The causes were led to believe that their ancestral spirits promised a victory over the British if they slew their cattle which left the tribe ultimately divided. Uda vividly describes how the tragic effects of this rift have continued up to the present day. His Madonna of Excelsior is based on a sex scandal between white Africans and their black maids in the 1970s and was awarded the Hurston Wright Legacy Award in 2005. The book was initially published in 2002. His 2005 novel, the Whale Caller tells of a love triangle consisting of a woman who loves a man who in turn tries to bewitch a female whale with the melodies of his horn. Ndai is a founding member and serves on the advisory board of African Writers Trust, a non-profit entity which seeks to coordinate and bring together African writers in the diaspora and writers on the continent to promote the sharing of skills and other resources and to foster knowledge and learning between the two groups. On 8 June 2012, Zeke Simda was awarded an honorary doctorate by the University of Cape Town for his contribution to world literature. His novels have been translated into 21 languages. Zakes continues to write to this day, and we can't wait to read and learn from his stories. <laughs>